Hi, so I discovered a way finally to get the NVIDIA GPU to work with VirGL. It's not all rosy. <laughs> Let's say we should use Camu to make it all work. So the first step, if you are a user with integrated GPU plus NVIDIA's one, well then you will have two. If you are one of those users with the possibility to change in BIOS the GPU from integrated to dedicated or by software, well then do it. Or if like me you can, follow this little initial tutorial. The first thing I want to tell you about here, is the NVIDIA drivers. They have been updated specifically to work better with the Wayland session. I leave you in description a file, which contains precisely this procedure in the video. What you have to do is update them to version 550 with these three commands. However check on the internet in the future if there will exist version 550, 560 and so on. As you can see I've already installed them. So let's go ahead and disable my integrated GPU. First thing if you can't change it from the BIOS or VIA software, you will need to have of an external monitor. And if you don't have one then, close this video, because you won't be able to do anything. Before going on, I had encountered a problem with the xdg underscore runtime underscore dear, so open your terminal and edit your bashrook file. Now in the file gone all the way down, and add this command to it which I will put it in the file in the link in the description. A uh, yes rightly, run this command to find out which wood you need to put in the export, after that save the changes, then exit, and run your command to make the changes. Now open your terminal, and edit your grub. In the configuration, after quiet splash, you have to put, i915, mod set equals 0 if you are Intel user or Radeon, mod set equals 0 for AMD user. I am an Intel user so i915, so now save and exit, and update your grub, and of course restart your computer to apply the changes. If you want to just for one time try, you can edit the grub when you try to boot and then press F10, well now you will have to connect your monitor video cable to the GPU and wait for it to finish booting. For reasons unknown to the world, it may use the laptop screen even if you have disabled the integrated GPU for the login screen. Be sure to use the whale in session, otherwise it will not work. Here as you can see I'm finally only using my Nvidia GPU, and no other GPUs, so having said that, let's go ahead and create the virtual machine. To begin with, create a folder in here you will put all the files, such as the ISO file, the storage file, and the configuration file. To start with, let me show you which version of Ubuntu I am using, and which version of Kemu I am using. To start we create the storage file, give it a name of your choice, and the maximum size in GB. I chose to name it storage and the maximum of 80 gigabytes. As the next thing we are going to download the ISO file, I chose to install this Android x86, it is called Bliss OS and it is the top of the top, it is an Android 13, I leave you as always all link in description. After that. Take the ISO file and copy or cut it into the virtual machine folder, and rename it to your liking, simply to a simpler name. In the folder open your terminal or if you want a text editor, create a file with any name, but at the end you have to put it, run, and then make it an executable, doing that it will be very easy to start your virtual machine. In the file you will have to put this configuration, I will include it in the file in description. Change if you need the BIOS part, check if you have OVMF from the terminal. And check where it is and the name of the FD, in the previous versions it was always OVMF underscore code, FD in the new ones like in my case it is just OVMF, FD. Now I tell you about the configuration, this part enable the KVM acceleration, this one instead will make you use the Q35 machine which is made for modern operating systems, then the UEFI BIOS change if you need, as memory I put 8 GB, change it according to your system, then here I put 8 cores, change it according to your system, as processor model I put the same as your computer plus supports for, 2 inches especially for OS like this, as GPU you will have the VIRGL, the CD-ROM with the ISO file, 
change if you need, the file storage in the cow 2 format, the network configuration to have internet, then also the configuration to have the audio, and finally, GTK display with the OpenGL, to take advantage of the virtual video card via GL graphics. So now, save the file and close it, and after that make it an executable, and run it and see if everything works, if it doesn't work look again in the configuration. Now I'm going to go and install this Android x86, if you are interested please take a look. Well now that I've installed it, I'm going to configure it and short everything else, we'll see in a little while what AIDA64 will say. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine, when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Unfortunately something went wrong, it is using the processor for 3D acceleration. If you remember we added to the Bashrik file this export, apparently we need to preserve it. Open the configuration file and put this following command in it, this will cause it to preserve the export that we had made. It seems to have worked, but it is using a lot of video memory, we will see inside AIDA64 what it will tell us. Yes everything works. Apparently from what I read from the name, it is using Vulkan graphics to run on Wayland, that would explain the VRAM overload. However, it's still a victory. One solution would be, to download NVIDIA drivers for Linux from the official website, then manually install the drivers, the process is actually quite simple. Anyway, now that you understand the whole process, it's time to play with this VM a little bit. The best thing about this BlissOS is this XT mapper, it is a key mapper for Android games, it was specially made for mouse and keyboard. Anyway, uninstall it, because there is a newer version in the official site IE from GitHub. After that go to kernel su, and give it access to root permissions. Obviously it's a VM, so expect glitches. If you try to play, some games like Minecraft will have this problem with the mouse. To solve this problem, in the configuration add these two lines, this will make you directly connect like your mouse or controller to the VM, open the terminal and type plus USB, bus 001 stands for host bus equals 1, and device 005 is the hosted or equals 5. Playing Minecraft I got on the 50 and 60 FPS, recording the video had a pact on the performance while playing the game. I wanted to try Hungry Shark Evolution, even though it is a very light game, although I recorded I always got constant 60 FPS. I also tried Hungry Shark World which should be a little bit heavier, and just like before I have 60 FPS even though I'm recording.
I wanted to try Angry Birds too, but I was getting an error about Arm Vade emulation, so we will try Roblox. On Roblox Natural Disaster, I almost always got 60 FPS which really a little bit amazes me so far. Then is the next Roblox game I tried. Brookhaven, this time however I decided to maximize the graphics, and I must say that this time really felt those few FPS. After that I tried to do a benchmark on Android's 3 mark, I started the only one I had available, since Veer GL graphics supports on Android x86 up to OpenGL's 3. I thank you for watching this video, I left in the description that file with all the things I showed you in this video. Please leave a nice like on this video, subscribe to my channel, and click the little bell to always have videos like these, sometime. Anyway I think it's time to say goodbye, thank you again for watching this video, goodbye.